Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're doing a little bit of an update into Boohoo and obviously it would be my biggest UK holding and there's been some news that have come out really recently about Boohoo. I thought, you know what, let's do a little bit of an update into Boohoo. I should really do it a little bit more as it being my biggest UK holding and talk about what is going on with Boohoo because like I say, it is some big news and we'll get stuck into it. So if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. You guys are here all the time. You guys smash the like button. And we'll take a look. So we're going to start off with a really quick recap to go through this company in case you are new around here and why I am so bullish on Boohoo. So first of all, the growth of the company is fantastic. The revenue is growing huge. The profit is growing huge. And in the UK, we don't have many growth stocks like this company. As well as having amazing growth, it also has a fantastic balance sheet. There's no debt on the balance sheet. And also this company is sitting on a lot of cash, which will help it expand going forward. And because of that cash, it has also bought some other brands now apart from Boohoo. But as well as having the amazing growth the company has, as well as the balance sheet, you look at the recent earnings that they've brought out and the earnings were fantastic. As well as being a dominant UK growth company now, it's also expanding to the US. Now you think about the US and the potential this company will have in the US and how big of a market that is. If it carries on growing at the rate that it did do in last earnings, which was 85%, this could come a very big company in the US, which would be huge. And when we talk about a company then that has, you know, a double digit market cap company, which should be really good. So the company is expanding on all fronts. So I think right now uh, it's a great company. Now, yesterday this company had a very good day. The uh, stock is somewhere about £3.15 is making this video. Um, I'll see where exactly it does close out at. But I think the big one is, you know, how far is this company going to go? Now, for me, I do believe this will be a £5 company within the next two years. So it will get to that point. And I think below £2.50 or £2.50, I've always said this company is easy money. If you buy below £2.50, it's easy money. And both times, if you bought this company, the company is very volatile. There's always a lot of dips in this company. It's a very uh, swing traded kind of stock. But like I say, if you bought both times below £2.50, where I said it's easy money, you've made a nice return on the investment you have made. It's not as much as an easy money stock as what it has been, but it's still a pretty decent value. But I would say you kind of miss the opportunity. And I always get asked, right, which is the next easy money company? And I, I say, well, it's a little bit trickier. I would say that Dropbox under $18 is the is quite close. I wouldn't say it's easy money like Boohoo under 250. And I think Tattoo Chef under something around $17 are probably the next two easy money stocks. But not as definitely as easy as Boohoo. I think you know you. I think you guys know. You know from me saying previously. You know you buy under that 250 mark, and you've seen it both times. You make easy money on this company because you're buying a great company at very very cheap valuation. So Boohoo was linked to Arcadia Group, which is looking to maybe go bankrupt really over the next few days. Uh, which own brands like Topman. And they've kind of been linked to maybe they're going to buy this company out. Not as much as the strong links as like what Mike Ashley's had. And there's, you know, things about Mike Ashley potentially giving them loans or buying them out. But every time there's a high street company that pretty much goes bankrupt or needs a bailout, Mike Ashley always gets tied with them. So, I mean, it's one of those, how serious is he actually going to be? I think sometimes he just likes his name to be in the headlines. But it is um, looks like it's going to be unfortunate that Arcade Group will actually probably go bankrupt, and I don't think Mike Ashley will buy them out. Boohoo have also been linked with them. Don't think Boohoo will be buying them out. And I was trying to like work out would that be a good move for Boohoo, and I, I don't think it would be a good move. I think to have a lot of brick and mortar stores would be a bad move. You look, you look at they've just had so much growth with the e-commerce side and online side. I don't know why they would want to take on that kind of responsibility. So I think they'd probably be best not buying out Arcadia Group unless they've managed to get it for a very good valuation. Um, and Boohoo could eventually have some brick and mortar stores, but I think they should mainly stick to e-commerce. And I've got to say, probably this closing, closing down will probably help Boohoo, I guess, because there's less brands out there. And I've got to say also for another position that I own, JD Sports, it shows that they can also do online and brick and mortar very well compared to the likes of Top Man, for example, so or, or Top Shop. Um, so yeah, I think overall, I don't think the links with Boohoo buying Arcade Group will, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Um, and I don't know if that would be the best move for them anyway. Um, the only thing that would be good for them if they was able to have their actual brands that they own. Uh, but I think having so many brick and mortar stores would be a very bad move from Boohoo. 
So that's my opinion on that kind of acquisition, if that's gonna go anywhere. And the next news we've had out there, there's been some inside movements with the whole Leicester's factory situation, and there's been a few more developments with that, and how Boohoo are really gonna counter with what's been going on with that recently. Obviously the Leicester factory situation is why we're currently in the dip on the share price that we currently do have, but there has been some more developing news with that with some appointments. And I'm also gonna say a big thank you to The Guardian because they have been very nice to us recently. There hasn't been too many negative news articles posted about us. I might have just badly timed that and knowing that when this video goes up, there'll be a Guardian story out there. But the, the like media's been a bit nice to Boohoo at the moment, which is quietly meaning the share price is going up. But I think also these new appointments that Boohoo have appointed have helped. So Boohoo made some appointments with KMPG coming in as the auditor. Obviously there was a lot of issues with that and that's what another cause of when the stock prices were to drop down was because of the auditor situation. But KPMG has come in now and also Brian Levesto who was a ex-judge has come in as well to help with managing this factory situation. And for you guys that don't know he was actually the guy that was the judge who when News of the World were involved in a lot of these phone hacking scandals, he was the judge for that. Um, so that's a great name to be coming in to um, manage that situation and how the factories develop. And also having another auditor there is something that needed to happen for Boohoo really to get that share price momentum going. So I think a lot of these new appointments with the auditors coming in, someone in to manage that factory situation and make sure everything's above board, I think is what we needed from Boohoo um, and that's what was gonna be needed to see the share price probably take that next step up and go up a bit more from where it is. Now, I'm kind of giving my points now of where I'm gonna sell out and where I see the stock totally going. So for me, I always said that I think the stock will be above three pound before Christmas, which at the moment we're at. Now, I didn't think we would get to three pound 50 before Christmas, but now with these new appointments, I could see that happening. Now, I don't think that will definitely happen, because of how volatile Boohoo is. But I think previously, before these appointments, I would have said the chance of getting there was about probably 15, 20%. Now, because we have these new appointments, I think there's probably a 50% chance we do get above £3.50 before Christmas. We'll see what exactly happens, but I'm a lot more confident now. So that's where I see the share price probably going in the short term. But like I say, short term, anything can happen. It just takes one news article from Guardian and bang, we're kind of like back down. Um, so we've just got to be a little bit careful of that. Now for me, selling out wise, I always said that this isn't a five year hold for me. It's more of a, a bit more of a sh what I'd call short term for me, which is two years. And I think that I'm going to try and take a lot of profit whenever I can because I do think that it could easily just, you know, overnight we get another chance to buy back down in the £2 range. But at the same time, you've also got to be careful that you might not get that one with this one. It's just because it's a lot more volatile, really. So for me, I did sell out 10% at £3. I probably will sell 10% out at £3.50 and £4 and £4.50 up to £5. And then £5 is probably where I'll see where I'm at and how much I'm still currently have. Uh, I might then actually start exiting the share price a little bit more quicker up there. Um, I definitely don't see myself holding, like I say, longer than two years just because this industry can change so quickly overnight and this company can be very volatile on the share price as well. And the industry of fashion, fashion can just change so quick. So like I say, it's definitely, even though I'm a big fan and I think it has massive upside over the next few years, it's one of those where I've just got to be cautious because this industry is just so quick changing as well. So. Yeah, overall, that's kind of like a little bit of an update into Boohoo because I haven't talked to it about for a while and there's been some really positive news about this company and gives it definitely a lot more confidence now to push £3.50, £4 range within the next few months. So we'll see what happens. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you could smash the like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.